back to Baby Sit Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I have a great recipe for you. We're going to go outside and get grilling. We're making a kafta burger. This burger is inspired by Middle Eastern flavors and it's going to be sandwiched in some pita bread together with a wonderful tahini sauce. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get grilling. The first thing I'm going to do is going to try and take out as much moisture out of this onion. I have one cup here and I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Adding salt will help draw out all of that excess water. Lay this over a piece of cheesecloth over a strainer, twist it and allow it to sit for 30 minutes or more to lose its water. You can also give a little bit of a squeeze to get it started. I have one pound each of beef and lamb here. The combination of beef and lamb together makes for a nice juicy burger, but if you prefer, you can use all beef or all lamb. I'm adding two tablespoons of kafta spice. You can find this at any store that sells Middle Eastern spices. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of red Aleppo peppers, a half tablespoon of cinnamon powder, and a tablespoon of salt or to taste. The onion has been sitting here for over 30 minutes and it's lost a lot of water. I'm just going to add this to the meat. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic and a half cup of chopped parsley. Give this a really good mix. I'm also going to crush one tablespoon of white pepper and add this in. Like with all my recipes, I like to fry a small portion just to check the seasoning. I like to freeze my burgers, even if it's just for an hour or so, just to keep it shape when it hits the grill. I'm going to grab a fistful of the meat, make a flattened patty, and I'm going to stack these between sheets of parchment paper. If you've seen some of my other videos, you will know that I love to use a burger press, but in this case, I decided not to, as I want these to be slightly wider and flatter to go into my pitas. As I complete the stacks, I'm going to stick these in my freezer. If you're planning to store these for a longer time, just wait till they're frozen and then bag them to prevent freezer burn. The good old cold barbecue has been fired up today and we're ready to stick these on the grill. Cook these on both sides and they're ready to go. I'm going to cut pita pockets in half and I'm going to stuff these and I'm going to serve these stuffed with kafta burgers, tahini sauce and some greens. is absolutely delicious.
Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Sweet Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for kafta burger. You can make this yourself on your grill. If you don't have a grill, you can also just pan fry it and it's going to be as delicious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. Share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified the minute I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Bye.